All right, so I'm hoping y'all can hear me, but today we're doing a truck tour. So what we have here is a 2020 Volvo 760, new body style of the Volvo 670. So starting from the front, we have a brush guard on the front, cattle guard, deer guard, whatever you want to call it, it's a guard. Um, we do have the new, this is the new body style, so it does have the updated um, headlights and fog lights. Um, color is obviously red, it looks like red and black. So from my understanding, this truck was usually, or was typically given out to the teams, but I mean, hey, I was blessed to get it, and hey, I have no complaints with it so far. So we got the nice hood mirrors, um, low pro 22s on the front, as well as the rears. We do got the double bunk sleepers, so you got the window for the top, as well as the window for the bottom got a side compartment right here if you wanted to get access to the batteries you would pull these two black levers right here and um, this panel actually lays forward or lays down so you can access the batteries your DEF goes here and then once this panel is down you can actually lay this panel down if you need to access the fuel tank or anything else um, up under the cab so pay close attention to this right here. So this is the cab power right here. Um, I'll speak more about it once we get on the inside, but this is just an extension cord that I leave plugged up the whole time, even while I'm driving, I leave that plugged up. Um, we do have um, side fairings top to bottom, as well as the actual back fairing with the step back here. Fuel tank on the driver's side is 150 gallons. We have a full a walk across catwalk. We do have the exhaust that goes out to the top. No weed burner. Coming towards the rear, like I said, we have low pro 22s on them. Or low pro 22 fives. Um, truck runs pretty dang good. As far as mud flaps, so if y'all can tell I have different mud flaps. And I'll talk a little more about that once I actually get inside the truck as well. But note that this mud flap right here is dragging on the ground. And that one over there is not. So yeah, I've had this actual mud flap bracket changed twice because I've actually pulled it off. Like I tore it off the truck while I was backing. So the fifth wheel plate, I'm not talking about the actual fifth wheel, but the plate down here. If y'all can tell, it's more towards the front. So that means for me to even out my weight, I typically have to keep the fifth wheel in the rearmost position. So most people, their fifth wheel plate right here, and I'm, that might be the wrong term, so don't kill me about it if it is. It's usually right in the middle, so I get more room to move my, to slide my fifth wheel. So if this right here is further back, I could actually have the fifth wheel in the middle, which would actually put it right in the middle of the um, the drives. But because it's so far forward and it's set like this, I have to push it all the way to the back so I could actually even out my weight. Passenger side looks just like the driver's side. Um, like I said, you have your dual windows. You do have a compartment right here. This panel right here folds down as well as the one up here folds down. Yeah, my baby is a little dirty. I actually been in this truck almost three months and I still haven't given it a, a wash yet. So we'll go ahead and go back to the driver's side, show you how we open up that side panel and then we'll go ahead and get on the inside. So if you wanna open up this side panel right here, right next to the fire extinguisher, there's a little pin right here. So you have to pull this pin and I'm assuming the socks aren't that good. So once you pull the pin, then you have to come over here while still holding it and open this and you can pull this out. So I'll pull the pin and then I'll open it. And then that's your under storage right there. Got triangles, I got some chalks down here. I got two load locks that's running all the way through. Then I have pretty much all the old hazmat placards that I've used. I pretty much save them all. I don't. I don't know why. I just put them down here. Eventually, once I get somewhere, I'll throw them in the trash. Um, if if you can see or notice down here, I do have an inverter in here. 
that is my inverter. The, company, the truck did not come with an inverter. And I, I did install that myself. And that's what the extension cord is running from. So the extension cord is running from my inverter. So I can have power inside the cab. And I'll explain that a little bit more once we get inside. So we have our driver door here. Just a regular pocket right here. Permit book. Nothing special, nothing fancy. You know, you got the little controls right here on the door. Power locks, power mirrors, heated mirror, and power windows. Uh, coming on in over here, we have utility light and a light check. So if you're doing your pre-trip, you pretty much just hit that right here and it'll just cycle the lights until you pretty much come back and press it again. Um, we got headlights over here, um, dimmer switch right here, hazards right here. Uh, and you got some blank switches right there or some spaces. So if you want to put some switches, you can. Same thing on this side over here. We have sleeper fan, the light for the bunk, and then we got some auxiliary switches, as well as the one of the switch that turns on the light by the floor. Steering wheel, telescopic steering wheel. If you wanted to lower the steering wheel, you would push this. If you push it halfway down, you can um, tilt the steering wheel and back and forth halfway down. If you push it all the way down, you can actually drop the steering wheel further down like this as well as make it telescope. So our gauges up here, we have our turbo boost gauge, our DEF, we have our RPMs gauge over here, our coolant temp or water temp gauge over here, oil pressure gauge over here. We got fuel gauge, we got fuel gauge, we have our brake application gauge right here, fuel gauge have our speedometer gauge right here then we have our primary and secondary uh, air tanks gauge then we have um, parking brake trailer brake right here we have our engine differential locks right here we have our traction control sliding fifth wheel we have hill assist right here then we have our airbag dump right here we have three AC controls over here you got your temperature your speed and your settings of where you want it on as well as the AC on and off button right here and this is the circulation button to circulate either cold air, air that's already inside the truck or to make it come from the outside. Have our fan, our, excuse me, have our radio right here. This is a basic Volvo radio. And then right under it, this is an automatic truck. It has the I shift. So you got your reverse neutral drive. You got your manual. You got your economy and performance mode. And then you can manually shift up and down if you're one of those persons that do that like I am. That actually comes in handy. So right up under that, we got some storage down here. It is a little messy, so please overlook it. I know it's a lot to try to overlook, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. So we have a cigarette lighter over here, and then we have a blank one right there, so nothing's in that one. So we have a cigarette lighter right here. Like I said, you have space and storage down there, which I usually throw my wallet and other whatnots right there. We have two cup holders that do move, so if you wanted to move it, there's a handle under here, and you pretty much just put it where you want it, and then it'll snap in place. So I usually leave it around this area. And then it just snaps in place. Um, up top, we do have two USBs up here as well as another cigarette lighter. Um, you got a little pad right here. I don't know what this is for or what you could use it for. I usually just throw food up there while I'm driving. Uh, as you can see, I do have my iPad station up right here. Um, I use that for my e-log. Instead of using the tablet that the company gave me, I use my iPad and we want to keep trucking over here. Um, see, we got two vents over there. We do have a vent right here and a vent over here on the driver's side. So above the head, the driver's head, we do have a storage right here, which I usually keep my driving candy in. And then right above, we have another cigarette lighter above the head. Um, I do have my CB installed right here, which I did install it myself. Then we have another cubby hole right here, which I usually keep Lysol wipes and hand wipes right there. Over here, I got more Lysol wipes. It can never be too clean, right? So also above the driver's head, we do have lights right here. And then the smaller light, it changes colors from blue. Um, so you got the blue, the red, and then the clear light, just like that. So going further up above the driver's head, I, that's my driving snacks. Yeah, I know, I know I can do better, but I mean, hey, I, it is what it is. I like what I like. So right in the middle, we do have more stores right here, which I just keep some old bowls right there, just in case I ever need to use them. Silverware, we got more silverware stuff up here. Then we do have a cabinet right here which um dang honey buns man can't get enough of my honey buns don't even look at that so we got uh, two more storage pockets up here um look like some uh, hazmat placards up there and then i usually keep my receipts and paperwork over there and then same on the other side over here 
behind the passenger above the passenger seat same i um pretty much got my spices and stuff and sauces and i mean utensils up in there you know so a lot of the stuff over here is just napkins and spices and stuff and ketchups and stuff that i usually accumulate whenever i go out to eat if you're a driver and you're going to be otr or regional anytime you go out to eat to any type of restaurant I mean, you know, they're going to give you a bag. They're going to give you napkins, utensils, whatever. Keep that. Whatever you don't use, keep it because you never know when it might come in handy. So we have our passenger seat over here. Um, these seats are actually pretty comfortable. It does have a massaging lumbar. So in this area right here, it like flexes out and come back and then it goes up and down. That is comfortable as all hell. Um, passenger flow over here, you can keep my boots over there. I did have a little incident where I dropped some food when I had to do a little hard break. Never really got around to cleaning it good but i mean i got it up enough it doesn't have any smell or anything so um we do have the wraparound curtains so we have the curtains that go around the front as well as sleeper curtains i don't ever use my sleeper curtains i always whenever i shut down i usually use the curtains that go around the whole front of the truck so it makes it it makes it feel like i'm not cramped in here um let me go ahead and turn the light on down here probably ain't gonna help but so it does come with um some type of coat hanger over here they have one right there behind the passenger seat and one right there behind the driver's seat. So I usually keep this hanging right here. Then I have my trash can back here, which I don't really use the trash can. I just throw my old, my empty bottles in there. If um, you don't know what I'm gonna do with the bottles, I mean, hey, use your imagination. You get a pocket right here. Um, it's just, usually I just throw my trash bags in all the empty pockets. I got a little three, um, two, three, prong, three plug, surge protector right there. I got a little bag down here. Um, we have a bottom storage down here coming into the sleeper usually keep my water down there yeah i know it could be a little better but hey it is what it is so in that one right there you gotta slam it then we have another uh longer storage right here which um i usually keep my dirty clothes in and you know i got some powder right here i got some mouthwash over here my clippers whenever i whenever i do decide to itch myself up which i don't do often um yeah like i said backpack in there this is the pretty much the one that you would uh, hang your clothes up with these hangers were already in the truck. I didn't put them in there. I don't. I usually keep my clothes in my duffel bag under the bed, and then when it's time to use them, or time to put them on, I put them on, and then from putting them on, they go into this dirty bag, dirty clothes bag I have right here until I make it home. So above this cabinet, then you have another little small storage. Um, I got grits, oatmeal in there. I got some eggs, um, chili, you know, stuff like that. And then um, right here is my 32-inch TV. Um, the truck did come with a built-in phone, a built-in TV mount. And then behind that, there's actually some storage, which let me see if I can kind of show you. Because if y'all can tell or not, I have a bungee cord going across the top of my TV. So I've been having this TV for over a year inside of a truck ever since February, ever since March of last year. And the TV is actually coming apart from the back because the TV rocks so much from driving across you know all 48 states pretty much and um yeah it's coming apart so i use the bungee cord to hold it up so back here i just have a box which i just have some bowls i have a next an extra jacket right here but this is another compartment right here so if you to move the tv or something like that you could have access to stuff I, I i have a lot of snacks and junk food and stuff everywhere then we got some vents up ahead up here up top up here and then we have a little space up here for the pretty much the top bunk in here nothing but bottles this is just empty bottles i just use i keep them just in case it's an emergency um do have my tv antenna in here this is before i actually hooked up to the tent antenna that's included with the truck but this particular uh vent right here slides up then we have the ones for the bottom they slide down so while i'm driving these usually just fall down so i just wet something in there so um you know try to keep it up even when i'm shut down on my tent i like to keep that uh closed so I'm standing on the bed right now. This is pretty much what you get to see. So now behind the uh, driver's seat, starting from the top, I got my cereal up here. I have my bag of chips. I have a toaster up there. So if you have a big amount of space up here, typically that would probably be for a top buck person. Um, coming down, we do have a space for a microwave. This microwave was actually too big for this space and there was a, a cover that went around that I thought snapped out when in reality it actually was screwed in so I kind of messed that up but um I mean I, I'll fix it before I turn the truck back in and then same thing on the other side there's another space right here so I got some bread um just random stuff that I'll, I'll eat 
um, keep noodles on the truck. I'm not really a noodles person, but I do have them just in case. Um, more junk food, obviously. Then coming on down, I do have um, a little spot. So this typically would be where the person that's getting on the top bunk, they would stand up right here to make it to get to the top. I got my little egg pot right here. I do like boiled eggs for breakfast. Let me give a shout out to my mentor because she actually bought this for me. Yes. Um, does have two cup holders right here as well as a cigarette lighter to where, you know, do whatever you need to do with that. Then I have a pullout drawer right here, which I usually keep receipts in because I am a 1099 driver. So I do keep all my receipts for everything. Um, usually just keep type of tools and stuff in here. I buy my own tools. Like I said, I'm a 1099, but I am a company driver 1099. So I don't, um, don't pay no, no lease payments or anything on this truck, but I do try to, I bought the tools for install my TV as well as to install the inverter. Cause like I said, this truck did not come with an inverter. So then right behind the driver's seat, continuing down, we do got two more spots where I, like I said, I typically put my trash bags in. You know, I reuse them because that's my trash bag right there. It's quick to throw this away than try to throw away a big old 13 gallon, 15 gallon trash bag. Let me pull them to a fuel aisle. So right here we have the refrigerator. Truck has a built-in refrigerator, which man, I love, I love, I love. So, um, yep. Just food, snacks, um, freezer. Gotta have my wings, got my sarshi, um, milk. You know, stuff that drivers can, pretty much anything that's microwavable, hey, I got it up in here that I can eat. So, um, coming to the back, we have the bed. I can't tell you the exact size of the bed. The bed was actually made before I started recording the video, and then once I was standing on the bed, it kind of messed it up, but hey, it is what it is. So we have a speaker right here, um, right side, what is the left side? We do have a fold-out table right here. So, um, you know, table folds out. It also does swivel, if that helps you out right there. I usually keep it out like this, but sometimes I get a little uncomfortable, so I have to move it up. Damn it, come on. Oh, there you go. Got to play with it. Have a little pocket right there, which I keep my remote in for the TV. I don't know how or why, but I have a tendency to lose my remote. Got um, two USBs right here, and then you also have a cigarette lighter right there. You have a panic button. You got some fuses right here. You have a door lock so you can lock and unlock the door from the back. You have the light to turn on the light, the switch to turn on the light for the floor. We have AC controls right here, as well as a light control, turn the light on and off. And then you have uh, radio controls right here, as well as a time. That is not the correct time, by the way, but it's there. We do got some LED lights, and these things are bright, man. I love them. So usually anytime I'm doing something back here at night, I cut all the lights on and it gets bright lit. So then we have the top bunk up here. Um, if you wanted to drop the top bunk, what you would do is pull this right here. And then you would pull this down. I'm not going to pull it all the way down because the way I have my TV set up. But that's how that would go. Um, under the bunk. So the bunk is raised up. You have the little entry door over there to the side. I got my little luggage space. My luggage right here. Then more drinks and stuff over there chains and all that so um what i wanted to talk to y'all about is the volvos come with plugs in them so see this one right here it has two plugs right there it has two more behind the microwave for the microwave and then there's two more back here behind the um tv so for whatever reason i could never figure out how to get the um plugs to work and then i actually called uh maintenance with vl and told them hey the lights aren't working or the plugs aren't working um can we figure it out because i i was paying money to um get the um to heat to heat up my food and stuff or i was having to buy food because i couldn't save my money to um, put food in the refrigerator so um this switch down here is what powers all the plugs but there was no power to this plug and once I followed the wires back, this wire ran straight to that plug that I showed you on the outside where the extension cord is plugged up at. So what I did was I went to Harbor Freight and I bought this uh, inverter. If I'm not mistaken, this is a 2000 watt um, inverter. 
it's the sine wave or pure sine wave or something like that where it's supposed to give out pure clean power so it doesn't fry your electronics so um, installing this was actually pretty easy i watched a youtube video or two and then hey i got it working so now i can watch you know my tv i can um use my microwave and i keep this plugged up 24 7. so what i did was i went under the truck and tried to find a hole and this is what i saw if y'all can see any light the light coming from right there and um yeah i put my finger in it it pushed it up and that's where i ran the wires to and it ran to the batteries so this particular truck there's no powers going to the wall sockets so that's how i get power i keep it plugged up all the time haven't had any issues so far um like i said the low locks down there they're running straight through to the other side over here you can see the end of them right here got chains down here you got ac stuff going on down here um old mud flaps right here i actually have both of them because like i said i actually tore off the same mud flap twice because the um the mud flaps were too low so while i was backing it just got caught up under the tire and um yeah that was um bye bye to that mud flap so um that's gonna conclude our truck tour once again this is a 2020 volvo 6 2020 volvo 760 this is what you could possibly get into if you come to VL Trucking or if you just decide to go buy um, a Volvo. So, um, appreciate you guys for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and like. If you don't, hey, thumbs down. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.